This happened last time. Wow, it's a keyboard. Completed your first step on your piano journey. Can I play the keyboard a little bit before I play with the application? Let's warm up with a fun exercise. Okay, so this is day three of Selena learning to play the piano. Uh, on what's the name of the app, Selena? Simple piano. Okay. So the way that the app works is that first they will throw some notes at you. If you can play those, then they will add on some rhythms. And if that all goes well, they will add on some music. So right now, Selena has completed living touch intro and then piano basics and then she is 25% along in the essentials one it is so we're gonna see how it goes today uh, one really nice feature with the app is that you can tell it what kind of music you prefer to practice to this makes the experience a lot more, you know, individual. You probably also noticed that there, it is no connection between the keyboard and the iPad. And so the application automatically picks up the tones that you play on the piano and categorizes them in terms of right or wrong. Um, this is more convenient even more so than plug and play. Uh, this is just, you know, play without the plugging part. What do you think about the app? Good, but sometimes difficult. Uh, at this point, I'm starting to think that the application cheats on us. I'm actually watching Selena as she hits the right notes at the right time, but repeatedly it just tells her that there is a mistake on her part. Okay, so I, I have to try this because it doesn't work properly sometimes. What do you mean, Daddy? Oh. So, we are hitting the right key at the right time, but still it's like it doesn't accept it to be right. There, for example, I hit exactly on the note. You, you need to actually hit it a little bit before the note, otherwise it's not going to accept it. That was exactly on the rhythm, but it didn't work. And now I put a little bit in f before the rhythm, and now it worked. Did you have problems with the rhythm not working correctly? A little bit. Uh, nevertheless, the application seems to be working again. Uh, it's really nice to see how they put it all together with all the different ways to practice both tones and rhythm. Here you see the app using the musical break to prompt Selena before she starts playing. One, two, three. Is the mic working? Uh, so, Selena, she went ahead a little bit without us to learn the bass key, uh, which is the notes you play with the left hand, so the bass notes. But she practiced it a little bit, and then she played a Lion King song with that to practice more. Uh, so she still hasn't 
put that together with the other key. So the question is, you know, if this application could actually be a stellar substitution for a piano teacher. So how do we know how long to play a note? The shape of the stem and whether the circle is filled in or empty tells us the length of each note. This is a quarter note, a filled in circle. As we got further and further along with the program, I started to realize that it would be a pretty good substitution for a piano teacher for quite some time. Um, once you reach a certain level, you might need a teacher from time to time, but Selena might not reach that level for another 6 or 12 months. So if you do the math here, one class a week will be 52 weeks in the year. Daddy, can you help me? So this is the normal key. Mm -hmm. The base key is the other one. Given that a teacher charges $50 at the lower end of the spectrum, you can save $2,600 the first year. Is it more difficult now? A little bit. John Lennon. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us on the sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Next episode on Play Piano with Ease. What did you not like about the application? I don't like it, but I love it. I have learned to do with both hands together. I think this is a really good application where they have really managed to leverage AI. And Yay! I got it! <sighs> Continue learning, Daddy? What is it, Daddy? Can you read for me?